Morning. This is the YB Merely Human video blog. I'm a follower of Christ. My name is Ryan McKeel and I'm currently vacationing in South Dakota with my family at the Cabin and RV Park, enjoying some uh, summer fun. Uh, it's July 4th weekend and this morning I wanted to talk to you about finding a wife. Um, if you're a single man or you're um, dating or engaged it really takes work and a lot of prayer, um, a lot of um, emotional um, figuring out and seeking God and um, and pursuing a wife um, to to get a good one. And I can't really say that's a formula because Proverbs nineteen fourteen says, "Houses and riches are an inheritance from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord." Uh, so no matter how much you work or try. Uh, it's the Lord who ultimately gives a prudent wife to you. So, <clears throat> would encourage you though to find a wife uh, if you're an unmarried man. Uh, Proverbs 18:22 says, "He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord." Uh, other verses I've heard of uh, talk about uh, your relationship with your wife being key to God answer, answering and hearing prayer. Um, so this is a very important relationship, obviously. I've been married three and a half years, um, so I'm still learning a lot, but uh, excited and have a wonderful, beautiful wife. And um, I wanted to mention that I have uh, grown in my understanding of my wife's beauty. Um, I don't, I didn't fully understand her beauty or see her beauty um, on the first day of courting. And, and by the way, I called it dating at the time, or courting, dating, I think we probably called it dorting a few times because that was a mixture between the two, it's goofy. Um, but but the, the bottom line was I uh, prayed about it, I made a lot of um, goofy decisions about how to pursue um, women, meaning uh, I pursued ones that God was saying, no, don't go for her, or that I didn't even ask God about. Um, and knowing that a prudent wife is from the Lord means that you need to be praying to the Lord and seeing who He would have uh, you marry. So, so I would say that prayer is the uh, biggest tool in your arsenal, um, being close to God and uh, seeking His Word, reading His Word, understanding what's in the Bible. Um, that relates to um, marriage, things like that. It's really important. I'd say that you should not rely too much on your eyes um, early on in courting dating because Proverbs 31 says that uh, this little awesome little spider who's, who I'm watching is distracting me here on the uh, picnic table. Anyway, I guess I'm distracted easily. Uh, what was I saying? Hmm. So I was saying, rely not on your your eyes uh, early on in the game because uh, charm is deceitful. Beauty is passing, that's what Proverbs 31 says. And that means that, guys, you're particularly prone to um, getting caught up by charm and uh, and not focusing on the inner beauty that God delights in. Uh, God really loves a uh, quiet, uh, beautiful, God-fearing, God-seeking soul in a woman. and. That is hard to find. Um, I do not think that that is necessarily common. Uh, it should become more common. So, uh, single women, um, if you're looking for a godly guy, uh, work on that. Ask for God to develop that in you. And men, don't rely just on what you see uh, because it's it's deceitful, and uh, you're not going to find a good wife <clears throat> necessarily just by. Um, just by looking. So pray hard. Ask your friends to uh, pray hard also for you. Um, men pursue women. It's good for a man to be married. 
uh, he finds a wife, finds a good thing, obtains favor from the Lord. So, uh, happy hunting, um, women, pray to you. Because uh, it seems like guys of this generation just aren't pursuing like like they should be. So, guys, um, pursue, pursue the Lord, pursue, uh, pursue a woman to, to make her your wife, and remember that uh, good things come from the Lord. So, that's about all the uh, words I have this morning. Good morning, and thanks for listening.